to my channel. I'm Cassie for those who don't know me and nice to meet you. If you're new, make sure to stay and subscribe. We'd love to have you here. So if you follow my sister and I on Instagram, you should know that a few months ago we transformed our garage into a home gym. And today I wanted to bring you guys along and show you the final reveal of the whole transformation of the garage. So this has been something that we've been wanting to do for the past few years now, but just didn't have either the time or the money in order to do this. But because of this pandemic, we just thought it was a perfect time to do it because all gyms were closed and we really needed a home gym to continue to work out and be motivated to stay fit. So we actually started out in our front yard and just built a DIY wood squat rack and that just simply wasn't enough. So we decided let's just finally do this and transform our garage. So that's just a little backstory. We do plan to continue to do more in the future, but just wasn't in the budget currently. But I know you guys all have been waiting for this transformation and let's get into it. On day one, Bree started taking down anything mounted on the wall. As you can see, when we first moved into this house, the garage walls were never finished. Since we knew this half of the garage was our main focus for the transformation, we decided to complete the wall before starting to build any gym equipment. The drywall near the water faucet had a huge hole, so my sister ended up cutting out enough in order to replace with new gypsum. She had cut a large enough opening in order to attach the new pieces onto the studs. Once that was complete, she added a tape coat with drywall compounds for the sheets of drywall to bond together. She added a thin cover over any screws on the drywall as well. While she did that, I was cleaning out our garage from the collection of things we have stored in there over the years. We added a coat of drywall texture that same day across the whole wall and let it dry overnight. The next morning, we had sanded it down before painting. After sanding, all the fallout was left on our garage floor and we knew we had to wash down the flooring before doing any painting. In order to do that, we moved out all of the boxes of storage into our front yard to have the entire garage empty. Painting the wall was the final step before we were able to finally start building any gym equipment. We knew we were going to be covering a majority of the wall with mirrors, so we just went in with a coat of white paint we already had. We now move into the fun part, actually building out the gym. We already had a lot of gym equipment over the years, along with purchasing new things throughout quarantine, but we knew our main priority was a power rack. Before building that, we decided to DIY our own weightlifting platform. The first step was to lay out the water barrier plastic to cover the first layer of OSB. We then added the second layer of OSB and screwed the two layers together. Once that was complete, we added the layer of plywood and screwed that in before adding in the rubber mats. Sorry, I know you're cold and hungry. <laughs> 36 divided. This is 3 feet, right? Yeah, so 36 divided by 2. Why can't I do math right now? 36 divided by 2, 3, 13? 12? <laughs> 12 is 24. 36. I was thinking about 36. Wait, what's that? Okay, if it's three feet, that means it's one foot six inches. 
so that means it's 1 foot 12, which is 6 and 18 inches. 18! <laughs> By then, it was extremely dark and cold out, so we added on the finish to the plywood and picked up the final steps in the morning. We added on the rubber mats, screwed that in, and our platform was finally complete. Building the power rack was the next step. We actually had ordered this, so basically we just had to follow the directions. It took the rest of that day in order to build the whole thing before we finalized the gym. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, look. You don't need no filters. You my rocket, you my perfect picture. Baby, you know I'm trying to kick it with you. Ain't gotta wait till it gets dark. We can 106 and park, you be my rock. I be your bitch, tigger. I'm trying to show you off. I'm trying to flaunt you. I'm obsessed with ya, baby, I want you. Let them watch ya, tell them they can tune in. Show you how we do this. I put a love on a billboard. So you just need to look at your window. Show the whole city I'm all yours. Let me put us on display. I shot it from the rooftop. I might already be so hypnotic Where you got my heart trap, trap, trap Take my wallet, fly you all across the map, map, map Oh yeah, oh yeah yes. Rock solid, yeah, you know I'm gon' support ya Anything you want, girl, I'ma spoil ya I don't watch ya, tell them they can tune in okay. We'll show you how we do this I put a love on a billboard So you just need to look at your window Show the whole city I'm all yours Let me put us on display yeah, yeah. I shot it from the roof. The next morning, we added the mirrors onto the wall. We didn't record that process since they were very heavy and fragile, and we wanted to make sure our whole focus was on that. It ended up being a quicker and easier process once we finally got the first one mounted. And the last touch was to add in all the rest of our gym equipment we already had. So what did you think? I know it's not a crazy transformation, but if you've seen what it looked like at the beginning compared to now, 
that was a lot of work and it was literally just my sister and I who did the whole thing. My parents did help out clean out all of our storage in the garage, but from there my sister and I did all the work in terms of, you know, finishing out the wall, painting the wall, building the platform, building the squat rack, and adding in the rest of the equipment that we already had. We do have more plans for the future. I personally wanna add a freestanding punching bag. We do plan to mount the whiteboard onto the wall, and that's where we write down our daily workouts. We do have a Peloton that is currently in our house, and we plan to move it out in here, just so that this is like our main area of where we want to come, and and work out. We do also have plans to add in more lighting just because it's pretty dark in here and we currently have the garage door open when we work out. But with the winter months coming up, we are pretty cold in here when we work out. So we're hoping to keep the door closed and add in more lights. So this is just the transformation for now and we hope to be able to continue to grow it and add more. But that's pretty much the final reveal. If you like the gym transformation, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Mm -hmm.